they really want to do is thank the vets. They give us the freedom that we have day in and day out. The foundation's Fish Montana. My father was a uh, SEAL team guy in Vietnam, and I just wanted to kind of thank him and, and my granddad and my uncles and everybody else who serves. Get as many men and women out here as I can. Have them stay a couple days with us. Try and help them with their recovery when they come back from, from overseas and their, and their tours and a helping healing kind of a day. Fishing's pretty relaxing, you know, for the most part. Wait, set it, set it. <laughs> that was awesome. Wow, that was a rodeo. Yeah. I got his ass. <laughs> well, that's good fish, Mikey. <laughs> It, it's a pretty soothing, calm place. It's just the scenery and the peaceful. I'd like to show as many people, you know, as I can, the river and fishing. It's relaxing. It refreshes me. It's like somewhere you can go and you're not bothered. You don't hear any noise. Most people go to a spa. This is my spa. It just relaxes me. You almost hit him right in the head. I used to keep a log, all the fish I caught, what I caught them on, the time of day, what the weather was like. I think it was 99. I hooked and released 1,034 fish. It's a good way to thank people. I think they could kind of experience the same thing we do. A lot of these people are going to be from back east or down south. There's a cutthroat. And you look at what you got here. I know when I came back from the service, it made me appreciate what we have here ten times more than when I went in. The places I've been, the places I've seen, I was so glad to be home. <laughs> People went out there and they did their duty, they served their country, and most of them that came home didn't get very much gratitude for what they did. Somebody's got to do it, somebody's got to thank these people because dude, they put their life on the line. And, and what's, what's a better way than right here? I grew up on the river. Yeah, I got to fish it my entire life. It was, it, was, it was great. I grew up with very fond memories of fishing with my granddad and my dad. Fishing off a lot. Fishing for me has always been an obsession. You know, I've always, I've always loved it since I was a little kid. When I wasn't in school, I was, I was on this river. <laughs> it was very cheap entertainment. And I think if more people got to do it, you know, and experience any, any of the rivers here, here in Montana, they're just, they're stunning, they're beautiful. Catching the fish, that's just, that's like icing on the cake. Yeah, I mean, it's fun and everybody wants to catch a whole bunch of them, but you gotta stop and take a look around. I love doing it, I love taking people fishing. Here's you! You're fine. Uh, yeah. oh, oh, look at that big bastard! Oh my god. Woo! Oh. 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 Go ahead and pull him right in the boat. I would love a whole bunch of people that didn't ever fish to come out and catch their first fish. There's nothing like watching somebody catch their first fish. Anybody that has served the country for, like I say, for our freedom. That was a shot. What'd I tell you? I've missed a brown trout. Fish Montana is not going to be able to take every vet fishing. I wish I could take them all fishing, but <laughs> that's, a, that's impossible. We're just trying to take as many as we possibly can. I would love to give back in any way that I can. And that's why we're starting Fish Montana. This is my way of saying thank you for their service.
Blue rainbow. Was that one as long as your arm too? <laughs> My arm keeps getting smaller and smaller. Little bitty one? Yep. Doubled up. I'm going over. Oh, fuck. Yep. Here went the fly. I got a little bitty one. Yeah. Double. Double. <laughs>